Hey guys, the Model X with hardware 2.5 just updated to 8.5, yeah, 8.5. That includes the update to navigate on autopilot where you do not have to have uh, lane change confirmation. So let's go test it out. All right, put on autopilot, put on navigate on autopilot, and it should do the rest. Whoa, that's a little fast. Okay, slow down, good, slow down, slow down. Yeah, we got it, we got it. So the, um, the need for the car to sense your hands on the wheels goes dramatically up when it's doing complicated maneuvers, whether it's like a tight curve. Well, I'm not quite sure about a tight curve, but definitely like a, um, a change in course or something like that. So, and it specifically says that it won't do an automatic lane change unless it detects your hands on the wheel. Changing lanes, all right. Oh, cool. So it vibrated, and it gave me the chime, it gave me a visual alert, and then it put the blinker on, changing lanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can cancel it using your turn signal. Whoa, it just did two lanes. Okay. And for some reason, it's limiting me to 60 miles an hour. Now it's changing to get out of the pass lane. Fine, whatever. Uh, I don't know why it's not going up to the speed limit, so I'm going to force it to. Force it to go up to 70. Uh, upcoming, we're going to have a freeway exchange, which is nothing big for sure, but um, still interesting. This is really cool. To me, this is like, i got to turn my... Maybe you can see my hand now. This is like the beginning of uh, full self-driving. The car is officially making decisions on its own. And um, yeah, this is like potentially it can truly go uh, on-ramp to off-ramp. Okay, what's it saying? Upcoming lane change. Uh, why? Oh, to continue on the route, I guess? Alright. Anyway. Okay, I got the visual, the auditory, and the tactile alerts that it was changing a lane. Honestly, it's actually much easier for it to, um, to do it itself and just tell me that it's going to. Before, I had to pay attention to so many different warnings, it, it was a little bit distracting, and confirmation stuff, it was a little bit distracting from actually making, like, uh, making sure that it was safe to do so, and then you miss the confirmation, and then it started doing something else, so it's kind of nice that it's actually doing everything now, and um, I can just interrupt when I don't want it to do something, so now it's getting out of the passing lane, I guess, um, but it, this is definitely next level. I mean, this is basically feature complete on-ramp to off-ramp, meaning that it has the ability to do all of that driving under ideal conditions without anything from me, aside from like saying, hey, I'm still here by holding onto the steering wheel. So this is pretty crazy. So we are on a freeway exchange right now. Uh, gotta see. Yeah, so this converts into one lane, which it's centering itself. There is a car behind me, but there's plenty of space. Uh, sorry about the crappy road. This is a really bad stretch. There are some areas with good roads, so hopefully we'll get to that. So we have to get out of this lane. Okay, it's telling me it's gonna change. There's a car behind us. Um, but it's navigating fine. These two lanes merge, all right? And it looks like it centered itself, doing fine still. I'm only going the speed limit, so 
aren't probably not going to be happy with me. But they can pass. I think the person behind me is getting off. Yeah, they're taking the exit, so... All right. You might hear some pinging or prickly sounds. That's because there's a tiny bit of, like, freezing rain or hail or something going on right now. Of course it does that the, uh, the night I get this update. But at least... Oh, i got to change my navigation. Actually, let's go to the supercharger. That'll be fun. Alright. So now we get an autopilot. And let me see if I have to... Good. Uh, oh, there's a car coming to my right. It's gonna keep going. Good. Nice. Sometimes it's like over generous with like letting oncoming traffic on. So that time it did tap the brakes. Okay, now it's centering itself again slightly to the right. I'm sure it will not do that eventually. Uh, anyway, but. So it uh, correctly decided to go past that car. And the car behind me needs to correctly decide to go around me instead of tailing me. There we go. Okay. So I'm not going fast enough and I'm not... And the traffic isn't dense enough for me to test if it will go around cars by itself. Oh, I might be able to... Okay, this guy's not going too fast. I might be able to test it there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is probably a good stretch to do it on, actually. So let's see if it will automatically try to get around this car that's barely staying on the road. Changing into fastest lane. Wow, that was fast. Ah. Crazy. Alright, so... It should pass this car. I confirmed nothing. This is so crazy. Wow. Another car to pass. All right, I'm gonna take it down a little bit. All right, so it decides to get out of the passing lane. That's pretty... Oh, hello? A little bit hesitant. It almost canceled, but then it went went for it. All right, so we have two, two, a little under three miles to the next freeway exchange. Oh, we got some, we got some bogeys at one o'clock. Okay, they're going to be... Uh, oh, they're way ahead of us, so that's no biggie. Let's see what it does, though. That's probably a hundred feet. Thirty yards. Okay. Yeah. Nothing going on there. All right. So it wants to try to pass those cars again. I don't really want to go that fast, so I'm just going to go back to seventy see if it'll, yeah, taking me out of the passing lane now. Wow, this thing is so good. I think it was waiting there for me to uh, wiggle the steering wheel, make sure I was still here, which is interesting that it does that. two lanes. Easy there. Okay, we're going to go through a... This is a construction zone. 
So this will be interesting. Let's see how limited it is. And we'll be good. I can't remember if we need to be. I don't think we have to be on the next. I think we're okay in this lane. But we do have solid whites now because it's a construction zone. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to... Oh, hey, okay. I guess the solid whites were only temporary. Am I going to be able to... I should be able to get over. Okay, the road's going to fork, so I hope we make it. Don't fork this up. Hmm, nope. It took the wrong lane. If that was a construction problem, uh, but I'm gonna have to get off the freeway now because the freeway is closed. All right, so that's a miss for autopilot. It didn't take the uh, correct exchange. Um, getting itself into a faster lane, that's all fine. I'll let it uh, pass these cars. All right, I'm gonna navigate off the, whoops. Oh, why did it do that? Oh, just did a little bit of braking. Changing lanes to follow route. Okay, well, don't hit that car. Okay, it's braking, braking, braking. Well, okay, we're coasting. Auto lane change canceled. Oh, decided to pass the car, okay. Construction detected, navigate on autopilot limited. All right, well, we gotta get over. So I put the turn signal on. There we go. Now we're in a pro pro lane. This is a stretch of some overpasses where sometimes I get phantom braking, but recently it's been much less. We got oncoming traffic. That car is probably gonna be in our way. Oh, this car is really slow in front of us. Construction detected, yeah, but we need to get to the right. Is it gonna do it? I think I need to get off at this exit. Oh no, I can do the next one actually. All right, I'm gonna take over now. Uh, Cause I'm gonna take, oh, it was gonna take this exit. All right, I'll let it continue. All right, so it vibrated and told me that I'm taking the exit. All right, now we're stopped. All right, I'm gonna navigate back to, to uh, another freeway route and uh, I'll let you know what the, I'll come back after that. All right, I got a new route Ooh, and a crappy road. So let's get on the on-ramp. This is a short one. Autopilot is on, nav on autopilot is on. Let's see what it does. probably saw that red car down there. That was truly in my blind spot because I did not see that car in my left-hand mirror. So, score for autopilot. So, we're coming up on a lane chain or a freeway exchange. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be need I'm going to need to be in the left lane. This is a construction zone though, so I don't know if it's gonna force me to operate some of this. But we gotta get out of this area to try some real stuff. Upcoming lane change, tap to cancel. I don't wanna cancel, it's got the line of, the gray line of thought. So it's evaluating that side. Here come the construction cones, construction detected. I don't know if it's gonna merge, whoa, hey there. Wow. 
So that that car encroached on me. Autopilot actually started braking right before my foot got to the pedals, got to the brake pedal. So that was actually uh, pretty cool. Um, all right, I don't think it's gonna break this white line. So I gotta get over here. I get a lot of comments about white lines. A single solid white line is not illegal to cross in Michigan. It is stated to be a suggestion to stay in your lane or caution, uh, but it is not illegal. If they didn't want you to cross, they would put a yellow line there. All right, so it, it's telling me it's going to change, and it changed. Okay. Good job, everybody. Good job. Very well done. Changing lanes into a faster lane. Cool, cool. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yippee, yippee, yippee. A little bit of wiggle here on the semi. I think that the semi is just so huge that the cameras have trouble, or the computer has trouble seeing the entire thing and calculating where it is. Uh, another cool thing about having this not require confirmation is that you don't have to you don't have to let go of the steering wheel with one hand and then you know push on the push the the uh, directional change or the autopilot wand or if you have a model 3 I don't know what you use on the model 3 but uh, since it's doing everything and you don't need to confirm anything you just leave your hands where they are and make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing uh, and yeah, so it's actually kind of surprising um, how uh, how smooth that makes things. All right, we're getting close to the interchange. This is an on-ramp, um, and like I said before, autopilot always tries to center itself, and so it gets a little skewed. Uh, we are continuing on now. Should be yeah, half a mile. I thought it was closer than that. It's, it's right around this curve here, so... Be prepared. Sorry about the bumpy road. Alright, there it is. Whoa. Aggressive. <laughs> kind of. So I turned the blinker on, successfully made the change. It's going a little bit too fast here. I'm slowing down, yep, we're slowing down, okay. It tempered itself. Yeah, it's about right. And it's not too lazy either. By the way, the hail's picking up a little bit, so you might, or freezing rain, so you might hear the tinkles on the windshield. Uh, but it, it did come in a little bit too hot, but it fixed itself, and then, um, but it didn't slow down too much, which was great. So it wouldn't have, like, you know, obstructed traffic or something. All right, next in about three miles, we're going to have an exit. So uh, we'll pause here and come back in a little bit. We're back with autopilot, cruising, 0.2 miles. Signs clearly marked. This one's going to the inside, blinker on, indications are all go. We have made the exit. Autopilot continues by braking, switching to regular autopilot as we've made the exit. And it is navigating and engaging these curves correctly and appropriately. And I think 
that is, it's also keeping me in the correct lane for my next turn, I think. Let's see, which one is it going to choose? Pick a lane. Ah, all right. I wonder what happens if I, no, nope, it's just going to take me to a complete stop. All right. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed that. That was super fun to actually see that working. Um, pretty good uh, conditions for the software to be navigating. So the weather was clear, the roads were, were well marked, um, and they're pretty well designed. Also, there weren't very many other cars. So uh, the software will have to get better and better at being able to handle denser traffic, other weather conditions, and stuff like that. But it's pretty impressive. This is definitely um, the next level of um, full self-driving and stuff. And so that, in fact, in terms of freeway, it's essentially um, feature complete, as Musk likes to say, um, where like all the features and groundwork are there, capabilities are there for it to fully drive itself. <clears throat> it just has to be um, basically babysat by a by a human driver. So it's not a, it's not autonomous or well, it's not driverless. Um, but it's all the features are there for like fully driving itself. It's pretty crazy. I recommend trying it. So uh, stay tuned. I will be um, doing more videos as features improve, develop, and as we get updates. Um, if you enjoy this video, feel free to uh, hit that like button or share it on social media. Subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.